what's going on guys welcome back to another madden 24 video in this video we're going to talk about juke moves player moves with, with the ball basically how you guys can move like a pro do the same exact moves that i do uh every day when i play this game so um we're going to get into every move how to execute those moves which moves you shouldn't use and when to use the moves uh, when is the correct time to use the moves, all right? So first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to jump right into the best move in the game, in my opinion, which is the juke move, all right? Um, I'm in practice mode. I want to show you the juke move just with a running back that doesn't have juke box, all right? So we're going to go with James Robinson here. This is the best juke move that you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, we're going to hand the ball to him. All you're going to do is... Flick your right analog left or flick your right analog to the right. And he's going to do this little juke to the side. It's a quick little juke to the side. You have to let go of the right trigger. Okay, because if you hold the right trigger, you're going to do this big juke. You see how he hops two, like two steps to the side, two steps to the left and two steps to the right? That's That juke is too slow. It's not quick enough. You lose a lot of your, your speed and your momentum. So the good move is, and the one that you get fake outs on is this quick little sidestep, the quick one, not the big one, all right? If you do the big one, that's when you hold the right trigger. You do not want to hold right trigger to do this move, all right? So, so flick your right analog. That's all you do, right or left. If you want to go to the right, you do it. If you want to go to the left, you um, flick it to the left, all right? So let me show you the difference between that move, who you guys seen with James Robinson, compared to the same exact move on the same run, but with, with Jukebox, which in my opinion is the best ability in the game. It's the reason that I use Fred Taylor over Ramondre Stevenson. Um, Jukebox is pretty good in the game right now. You actually cannot tell how much quicker it is, but in the game, you're gonna see him make people miss at a, at a higher rate. And it's, and I can assure you that it is quicker than the, than the one that you've seen from James Robinson, okay? so um that little side juke is is the best juke that you could use in the game uh the next move that we're going to talk about okay, here we go. is the spin move i do not think you guys should use the spin move in this game it's not really necessary um the juke being so good just pressing b like this uh just it's not really a, a great move um i i probably have done a spin move i probably do it there's days where I don't even do it. I'll play 20 games straight without doing a spin move. I just don't think it's good. I think the juke is way better. But if you want to execute just a regular spin, you press B. You want the big spin, you hold the right trigger and B. All right. I don't I, I don't like the spin move, but uh, again, you guys could try that if you'd like. The next move that we're going to talk about, uh, a move that I am really high on, a move that I'm really high on is the back juke. So you're going to hold the right trigger. Flick your right analog back. And he's going to do this. And then when you get out of that, you can change directions. Um, I like to do it when I have a defender on my hip. We're running, you know, parallel to each other. I'll use that, let him run by me, and then change directions and follow that up with a juke move. So, like, it looks something like this. So, you hit that, and then you, you hit a juke after, right? So, you, you throw those in combination. They're definitely a, a really solid combo as far as jukes go. You can also go ahead and back juke. Some people like to jurtle after to get your momentum back. And to jurtle, you press Y and then the direction you want to go. So if you want to jurtle to the left, you, you Y and left on your left analog or Y and right on your right analog to go right. So we're going to jurtle right. We'll jurtle right here. You see how he changes direction a little. And then this back juke and then a quick little juke out of it so stringing these together is another big factor in getting this, the, the most shards you can get um on a play and one thing you guys should definitely do as far as moves and making sure you guys are using them the best is they all have a purpose right and i think the juke is the juke being the best you get so many extra yards by juking up the field there's times where a defender may have me angled off and I just want to pick up a couple extra yards. Let's say we're going to the right and there's a defender there. Let's just say 73 and 12 are the defenders trying to get me. I'm going right and I'll juke through I'll juke through um the hole like this just to get a couple extra yards because I know that they're going to tackle me. So, 
Um, using these just to pick up a couple extra yards is a good thing as well. It's it's a way for you to uh, maximize your plays and, and create better situations for yourself. There's also another back juke. Um, if you let go, he'll do the, the little the quick stutter. Uh, if you let go of the uh, speed, bo speed boost, if you let go of right trigger, he'll do the quick stutter. Again, not really something that um, I think is better than the other one. I like holding right trigger because it, it lets you change directions a little bit better. And it seems to fake out the AI more. That's the thing. These moves fake out the AI really good this year. The juke fakes out the AI almost, I would say, at like a 90% rate. If they don't click on and you juke, it, you juke the first time, you juke on a play, you're gonna make them miss. Like I feel like it's like 90% success rate, especially if you have jukebox, it's even higher. Um, the back juke as well. If they don't click on, the back juke gets AI to run right by them. Spin move is the one that I'm really not too fond of. I'm really not a fan of the spin move as far as the fake out rate. I feel like the other ones are a little bit better. The journal is situational. Like this used to be a good move. It's cool getting up the field. I haven't actually seen anybody fumble with the journal, but um it, it just doesn't seem to fake out anybody like it used to i'd rather just use the juke move if you're going to go ahead and journal up the field now when you're moving you also you have free movement obviously your left analog can make you move side to side and make people miss right so you definitely want to take advantage of that when you're trying to move like you know one of these guys that you see playing tournaments and whatnot so one thing with this is that a lot of people like to do is like let's just say we bust a run this way they'll let go of everything stop and then change directions right they'll let go and then keep going so this is just another way for you to try to fake out a user this doesn't work that good on ai okay so when you see a user clicked on you can hit them with something like this a, a hezzy right let go of everything to do this you can hezzy up the field if you have a user trying to tackle you in the open field but if it's an ai I would much rather hit the back juke. This stuff like this will make make the AI miss more than um, you trying to hezzy with your left analog. So left analog, like stick move movement and trying to make your opponent miss should only be used user versus user. When you're trying to make AI miss, use your juke move or use the back juke. Those are the two best jukes in the game. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to throw a defense out here next, and I am going to show you guys how these work against a defense and then at the end of the video you're going to see it in game in highlights all right so we're going to run the same runs all right we're going to use the same runs obviously barkley is activated um but i'm going to show you the moves against the ai and when you guys should use them right there just a quick little juke just to create um a one-on-one -on -one with the left uh li the linebacker on the left side of the screen on this one, I'm, I'm bouncing it left side. Going to cut back to the middle with the right analog just to pick up a few extra yards. This is all juke move. One-on-one, -on -one, no chance. Cut back on him. Jukebox is just really good this year. Again, this is why I use Fred Taylor. I'm going to go over this, this play right here and show you exactly the timing on the juke. I see I'm running through. Look, okay, so just running the ball. You see this right here? White jerseys to the outside, blue to the inside. It's simple. You want to run through this hole here, right? It's a huge hole. I get through. I have one on one with this guy approaching me, right? Safety. If I juke to the right, I have 73 here with a man. There's a chance I juke into him. There's another uh, secondary player coming over here. I notice 86 and three run off their man, right? They're running down the field. These guys are, are with them. So I have one on one here. The correct move is try to bounce this to the left. I wait until about right here, and then I hit the juke to the left. You see the fake out animation. He's gone. I see a trailing defender now. So now I have him, and I'm already looking at him. He's already coming down as well. So now that I got this guy to my right trying to mirror me, I'm going to cut back with the right analog again. No speed burst, no right trigger. He just flicked the right analog to the right. He's going to put his left foot in the ground. Hop step to the right, number he gets faked out, and then now it's a foot race. We pick up a block down the field, get tackled into the end zone. We're gonna go stretch to the right this time. Juke back to the middle of the field again. It's not always about making somebody miss or getting a touchdown every play, right? So sometimes you just want the juke to get you as much as many yards as possible. Let's just say this was first and ten. 
running the ball to the right. You got a nice block, right? nice box here from twelve. Everybody, they 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 picked up a man. You see fifty six. If I go straight to him, I'm I'm going to get tackled immediately. If I go to the outside, this guy's gonna have some sort of leverage here. So I juke to the left, so this lineman can pin him basically. All right, so the juke to the left allows him to get blocked. You just flick your analog to the left, your right one. Don't hold speed bursts. And then I pick up as many yards as I can. I have momentum going forward. The defenders are hitting me forward as well. It allowed me to pick up the maximum yards on that play, in my opinion. One-on-one -on -one juke. Juke again. The juke is so good. Use that to your advantage. The timing, you can get down with just a little bit of practice. Go to practice mode like where I am. And you see him. He's a, a few yards in front of me. I'm juking. And you're gonna see the fake out animation. Okay. This is the anim this is when you know you're faking out the anim the the AI. They're reaching for you. They have an animation that's set for fake out. Okay. Now let's show you let me show you the spin move here. See how the spin move just doesn't do anything to a defender. It, it's it's really just not that good in the game. I don't advise anybody to use it. Right there, I got around an AI. But I'm still so slow. There's no momentum to it. All right? There's no there's zero momentum to the spin. Spin back to the field. Just too slow out of the out of the, the move. So again, I don't I don't really recommend that. Alright, we're gonna take a look at some highlights now. And I'm gonna explain which moves I'm using on these plays that you guys are gonna see on the screen. This was a pass to the right. I'm gonna pause it here. I see there's three defenders in front of me. If I continue running straight, Diggs is going to tackle me. 24 is on my tail, so I'm not really worried uh, about him entirely. And then I got two defenders to the left over here, two guys here. So I don't want to continue running to the right. I feel like he, obviously he has me angled off. I can't cut back here because these two defenders are going to collapse on me. So I back juke here. Um, right trigger and down on the right analog if you're on PlayStation R2 and down on the right analog and then right out of that I use my left stick to change direction I change direction to the left 7 is way out of the play now 24 was trailing me he was where I used to be when I hit the back juke and then these two guys have to change direction with me and now it's just who can get accelerated fast enough and you're going to see I accelerate faster than everybody here and now I have a defender approaching me. So now my eyes are on eight, right? I pull up here and I hit the ju the juke to the left. If I juke right, I may pick up the block here, but these guys are going to probably tackle me from behind. So I juke to the left, a quick one. Flick your right analog to the left. I'm able to get a fake out animation on eight. You see his hand touches the ground and we are able to take this to the crib here. One thing about Madden, they all, all defenders chase the ball. So if I lead them to the left like this, um, it sets them up to all get juke. Like I get a step on them going right when I flick the right analog to the right. So I flick to the right and I'm here. I see um, this Waller, I believe this is. He has a, a defender pinned here, right? So I want to get to the right of him. And I see zero. He should get a good block on seven here. So I want to juke up this way. So I'm going to run right here. I see him blocked perfectly. I need to juke out this defender on the right. So I'm going to quick juke up, up the field, put my foot in the ground, and we get a fake out animation here. Perfect block. And now we just have to make these two defenders miss right here. One of them is the kicker, and then one of them just got clicked off. We have 14 to my left. I just do a slight little change of direction, and then we are off to the races. All right, in this clip, you guys are going to see me back juke into a juke move. All right, so we're going to rewind this. Right here, okay? So I have a defender approaching me. Um, I can't just, I, I, he has me angled off if I consider to run straight. I can't try to juke by him, but instead I use the back juke right here, okay? So this is the timing. This is where he is when I back juke. Right trigger and down on the right analog. All right, if you're on PlayStation, R2 and down on the right analog. We juke him, we get a fake out animation. I see another defender approaching. I'm just gonna uh, do this, the quick, juke to the right to get by him up the field you'll see it right here he gets faked out as well and then we just celebrate into the end zone all right now you guys are going to see some jukebox okay so this is fred taylor to the right right here jukebox to the right side of the field 
We have Defender trailing us. Next move up, you guys guessed it, it's the back juke. Down it on the right analog and right trigger. It's going to let 29 go right by me. That's the user. Okay, he goes right by me. I change direction. And now I have three defenders left. One right here and then two over here approaching. So I have them split, right? Two and then one right here. I juke up the field in between them with right analog. Flick it to the right. I'm able to get by all three. All right, this is another kick return. I didn't touch touch this uh, in my um, practice mode videos, but we do the quick jukes to get here, okay? So now when you're off to the races, what you want to do is spam RB button. You're going to see him constantly switch the ball carrier hand. And in Madden, for some reason, when you do that, it seems like you run faster than everyone else on the field. So uh, did want to touch base and add that in. You want to spam RB it's going to make you do that animation right there where you're switching hands and it's going to make you make it seem like you're running faster. At least it, it feels like that. All right, here's another run. This is early Madden with the EMC. I bounce it to the right. I kind of hezzy right there. Get this user to go by me. We're up the field. I'm going to juke to the right here to get outside because back inside here, you got 44 trail in. This guy looks like he has full momentum going to the inside. And we have uh, Gilliam here, fullback to block. So we juke to the outside, kind of bump it to him. It slows us down a little bit. This guy, I don't know why he clicked on. He misses the tackle. We have another defender approaching here. So I just use a left analog here to juke him out. I back juke. Let me show you guys the timing on the back juke. All right. So now we have him running full speed. He looked like he had more acceleration than me. So I back juke, let him run by me. All right, and then right after the back juke, you're going to see me juke to get some momentum. So we back juke, and then right when I get out of the back juke and change direction, I'm going to use the right analog to get momentum up the field again. To get see how, see that? And now I'm up the field. We pick up a block, get into the end zone. Here's the last clip. This is, again, showing off the jukebox mechanic. I got defenders to my right. Don't want to go to the right. want to get back inside. So we juke to the middle of the field, and then we have... 25 Sherman about to, you know, take, try to angle me off. I juke around him with the right analog to the right. So it's right analog to the left to get to the middle, right analog to the right. And now it's a foot race trying to get to the sideline. And it's me versus Blunt. I get to the sideline. I spam an RB. You see the boost, Taylor to the crib. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want more tip videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hut, hut, hut!